So this is coming from everywhere all of a sudden, and we're going to unpack what we know uh, at this hour. But we do know that over the last 24 hours, Twitter specifically has banned a number of different conservative accounts, not just the president. At the same time, the Chinese Communist Party, the Ayatollah of Iran, still have their accounts because they're not a threat to the ruling party here. Tonight, a competing social media service, Parler, which we told you about, is seeing a massive and unprecedented surge in traffic. The site even experienced server outage because of new users tonight. Why? A couple of reasons. Mostly this. Parler is a free speech alternative to Twitter. They don't censor you. You can say what you want. The president is on Parler, and that has drawn a lot of people who realize they are being suppressed by Twitter. Yeah, so this Parler thing is pretty concerning. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Parler is well, was, basically a Twitter alternative that people who have been banned from Twitter, such as myself, have flocked to over the last six months. Now, when I say people who have been banned from Twitter, I don't just mean people who have incited violence, etc. I got banned from Twitter years ago for teasing someone, calling them a name, basically. Now, as Tucker Carlson points out, the Communist Party of China are still on Twitter. I mean, don't worry about all the human rights violations. Don't worry about the fucking concentration camps. At least they didn't call anyone names that I know of. Okay, they probably did call people names, but they're the Chinese Communist Party. They're exempt. Now anyway, in comes Parler, and everyone who has been shunned by Twitter is excited about it, because they seem to genuinely operate on the principle of free speech. I grew a follower base of around 15,000 in pretty short order, because people just can't find me on Twitter or Facebook. RV Yemeni blew up to like a few hundred thousand pretty quickly. The platform was growing in popularity every day, and a few days ago, it was ranking number one in the Apple App Store. Why? Because Donald Trump created an account on Parler after being banned by Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and a heap of other platforms over the course of a day. Now, as you can imagine, Silicon Valley did not like this one bit because Donald Trump should not be able to express his opinion anywhere ever again. So, of course, the Silicon Valley cabal, namely Twitter, Apple, Amazon, and a heap of others, turned their attention to Parler for having the gall to allow Donald Trump to access the platform. Well, it's, it's devastating is what it is, and it's, it's an assault on everybody. I mean, they, they all worked together to make sure at the same time we would lose access to not only our apps, but they're actually shutting all of our servers off tonight, off the Internet. So they, they, they made an attempt to not only kill the apps, but to actually destroy the entire company. And it's not just these three companies. Every vendor from... Um, from text message services to email providers to our lawyers all ditched us, too, on the same day. And, and, they're, and they're trying to uh, falsely claim that we were somehow responsible for the events that occurred on the 6th. So Parler has been banned from the Google and Apple app stores, as well as a heap of other vendors, and their web host, Amazon, have just removed them. Like, from the entire internet. And this all happened conveniently within days of Donald Trump being banned from Twitter and opening a Parler account. That's fucking weird timing, isn't it? Now, apparently the last straw was this attempted coup or insurrection or whatever the fuck happened at the Capitol building on January 6th. And I gotta say, it was pretty fucking stupid, but a coup? Insurrection? I mean, it just looked like fuckwit internet LARPers trying to get some photo ops. I mean, I understand they're pissed off, but storming the Capitol building just makes them look unhinged. Just like I understand how BLM are pissed off. I don't agree with them, but I understand them. But they just ask fuck any argument they have when they burn down cities and cause billions of dollars worth of damage over the George Floyd thing. Likewise, these LARPers ask fucked any argument they had when they stormed the Capitol building. Especially when they're wearing, like, furry Viking fuck and Mardi Gras costumes. You look like a dick in front of the whole world. And I might get a lot of kickback for that opinion, but come on, man. The mystical Viking fucking wildebeest cunt isn't going to take back American democracy. you got to be fucking kidding me. Uh, Bering, America's actually not a democracy. It's a representative republic. Yeah, fuck off, Bob. Go fuck yourself. Oh, you're such a dickhead, Bering. <laughs>
So I was reading this CNN article about the whole thing because they're the most trusted name in news. And apparently Parler's Silicon Valley cabal driven takedown was over 98 cases of incitement to violence on their platform. I mean, come on, how many cases of the same thing do you think can be found on Twitter or Facebook? How many of these BLM and Antifa motherfuckers do you think coordinate their fucking riots and protests and shit on those platforms? This is just Silicon Valley censorship in its highest form. It's really concerning and it's just fucked. Anyway, that's my rant done. Now this video was sponsored, so I better play you a quick 30 second sponsor. Hearing, hearing, hear, 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 hear. In 2000 and current year, it's really important to keep your body healthy all the time. Collagen may be the closest thing we'll ever get to the so-called fountain of youth, while also forming a wall of defense between your immune system and the rest of your body. A lot of health experts now agree that consuming collagen is crucial when it comes to renewing and revitalizing how you look and feel. So visit my page at healthwithbear.com and secure your supply of the only collagen on the market I trust. Link in the description. All right, motherfuckers, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Recession, session. Give me better ties, give me better ties. Recession.